Every three minutes somewhere in the world, a baby is born with a cleft lip, a cleft palate, or both. And even though in many countries we operate in the first year of life, cleft is a lifelong condition and it can affect how you look, how you sound, and how you feel. At the University of Bristol, we're carrying out world-leading research using data that we make available to other researchers across the globe. And working together, we're investigating the causes of cleft, the best treatments for cleft, and what it's like to be an adult living with a cleft. Bristol has a long history of pioneering research in this field. Back in the 1990s, we carried out research which led to changes in the way NHS care is delivered for children born with cleft in this country. And that's led to improvements in their speech and in their appearance. There's lots that we still don't know about cleft lip and palate, and that's why we've set up the Cleft Collective. In this study, we're working with the 16 NHS regional cleft teams across the UK, and we're following children and families over time to see how the children grow and develop. But we're also collecting data that we can use to understand better the causes of cleft. The work done in Bristol was amazing in that it sparked a national debate about how we could improve the provision of cleft services throughout the UK. We regionalised services, which meant increased specialisation and developed the multidisciplinary team. This meant that children were able to access much more specialised care. We've seen great improvements in their speech outcomes, in their appearance after surgery, but also generally in their well-being. At the Cleft Collective, we've recruited over 11,000 participants and we collect saliva and biological samples from all of them. We use these samples to extract DNA to help us determine what genes could cause cleft. We already know that some people who were not born with a cleft still have the genes that are linked to it. So we ask parents to complete questionnaires about their lifestyle, medical history and other environmental factors to investigate whether or not these play a part. In the UK, we have some of the best care in the world, but it can still be difficult growing up looking and sounding different to your friends. For this reason, we're carrying out the Cleft at 18 to 23 study. With funding of £2 million from the National Institute of Health Research, we're working with young adults who were born with a cleft to find out how it's been for them and what difference having a cleft makes to their life. So I was born with a cleft lip and palate. I've had four surgeries throughout my life and also stayed under the care of the cleft clinic. I go to see my surgeon at least once a year and I have done my whole life. Many people don't actually realise that it's not just an initial operation to fix the cleft lip at birth. Obviously I had my first primary operation when I was three months old, but it was followed by one when I was seven to help with my breathing, and then another two later when I was going into adulthood at about 18 and 21, and um, more on like the reconstructive side for my nose and my lips. I was really excited when the opportunity arose to be involved with the Cleft 18 to 23 research project. I grew up through having a cleft and that tricky transition from teenage years into adulthood. So I just thought it was a perfect opportunity for me to be able to have my say and help and support other people who are going through the same thing when I know how it feels. And I just think the research is really important and it's gonna have positive effects on both individuals with clefts and also their families. Research in Cleft is a partnership and we are grateful to the families, the individuals themselves and the clinicians who make this research possible. Working together, we want to change lives for the future and ensure that children born today and tomorrow have the best outcomes possible.